So let's talk about surveillance kits for radios. There are a couple different versions of surveillance kits. You've got a one wire, a two wire, and a three wire. And yeah, it adds to complexity as you go up in the, the, uh, the number of wires. But it also uh, benefits you from a um, concealment standpoint. And I wanna explain that to you real quick. So a three wire kit is what we've got here. And the three wire is consists of, you've got your, your earpiece, that's wire number one. Then you've got your push to talk, that's wire number two. And then you've got your microphone, which is wire number three. So in a traditional, uh, well, uh, a cheap version, you would have a one wire kit. And in that one wire kit, you would have literally one wire that had your microphone. And then a little bit further, you would have your push to talk kind of in the center there. And then at the other end of that same wire, you would have your earpiece. And all of this had to run up your body and you had to hide the whole thing and you had one wire. And if you wanted to talk, you had to basically find that spot in your shirt where your microphone was and, or your push to talk and then hit that and then talk into that. And basically that and that are the same thing on a one wire. One wire is uh, cheap, they suck, honestly. A two wire piece is better, you know, in terms of concealability. In a two wire piece, you've got your earpiece here, and you know, that's, that's awesome. And your push to talk and your microphone are going to be over there, right? So there's your two wires. Now let's, let's, let's kind of focus on three wire for a second. Why a three wire? Because you can take this piece and imagine clipping it or pinning it in this case, pinning it to your shirt, the inside buttonhole zone if you're wearing a buttoned up shirt. If you're not, you know, just pin that thing into your shirt somewhere up close to your collarbone. All right, that's wire number one out of the way. And then you go to this. Now, the, the, uh, the mic in the, the microphone in the mouth, microphone in the wrist, you know, those are ways that um, people kind of spot surveillance people. I was um, up at State Department one time and they had a dignitary coming in and I'm looking at a guy talking into his wrist and I'm thinking, that ain't normal, dude. Nobody does that. I mean, this was back uh, decades ago. So this is the solution for that. This goes in your pocket. Um, on a cold day, it can go down the sleeve of your coat and you can have it on your wrist. So all you have to do is pop this sucker in your hand and just hit it. And that allows you to speak. And this piece is somewhere up by your collarbone. So you just have to talk naturally. Third wire, earpiece, obviously goes in your ear. You'll notice this is kind of a, a non-traditional earpiece. The normal earpiece you see is just a uh, it's just kind of a flange that jams in your ear. This thing is more of a molded piece that works real well. Uh, it's a it's a good piece of uh, good piece of equipment. It's not a lot of extra money to buy either. So, and all it does is just pop on and then snap into your uh, your your tube here. A couple of good practices. You'll notice on the back of this thing, this is flat that's the side you want to go towards the body not this way this is flat this is not it goes towards your body but this goes towards your back so if this mat were was your back it would go like this and if you have a lanyard around your neck maybe an id tag or something this could hook into that and let's just imagine for a second that my ear is over here and this is going to go into my left ear boom what I want to do is have this wire stretching across the back of my neck. And the reason is because if I put this on the same side, what this wants to do is push up and out. And this creates a problem because this wants to come out of my ear all the time. But if I stretch this across and I put this on my right side, maybe the back lower right corner of my shirt collar, stretch it across. This goes into my left ear and this tension here will help retain this in my ear. So that's the earpiece. This goes in your 
pants pocket. I usually keep this in my, um, I'm a right-handed shooter, so this goes in my left pants pocket. That keeps my right hand free. And what you can also do is take just a simple regular rubber band and put a rubber band around this thing. Ball the wire up, rubber band it, jam it in your pocket. The rubber band will help keep it in the, the, uh, the pants pocket. The, the friction of the rubber band keeps this in place. This one's kind of extra cool because it has a, a little clip that helps there too. So that's just a little bit of information on the three wire kit. Now, the other part of a, any wired kit is that you've got a bunch of extra wire. And what, what we do and what we did at the place I used to work is we would take this self-adhesive bandage and we would basically take this bandage and wrap all the wires against the antenna and that controls it keeps the wires from running all over the place because the wires a lot of times will print in your shirt and what that means is you know if if this is my this is my shirt then I've got a wire sticking out right and maybe not like that but a wire is going to show this would keep the wire from showing prints it and the other thing you can do is the antenna itself can sometimes press out and that can print and so you can take that same self-adhesive bandage and once you get the wire uh, controlled and you've got the radio attached to the body then you take a piece of uh, you run take that bandage and you run it around the antenna around your torso and suck that thing in and so now everything is pulled into your body and there's nothing that's going to print uh, there's nothing's going to show so just a little just a little piece on uh, surveillance kit there's other stuff out there. There's Bluetooth so that you don't have to use this at all. And you know, you can have a, a Bluetooth that um, a device that fits on your ring finger, whatever finger you want, your index finger, and you can just take that and it's a button, you just pop it and it transmits and the microphone and everything works off that. So it's actually a two wire kit with a wireless transmitter. And those are pretty cool too. I, I personally, I like a wire because it's connected everything's going to work and if it's critical moment I don't want to have oops my um, battery died in my PTT on my finger uh, so this is just redundancy I guess in, in some sense but at the same time it's also confirming that something's going to work when I need it to work so just wanted to throw that out to you guys and hope you have a great great week <music>